second grade girls and boys. Today, you had an article to read, and then you had some activities to do that went along with that article. So let's look at the article together and see how you did. Changes in America. The Pilgrims were not the only people who left England and came to America. More and more people came. Soon, there were 13 colonies. The people cleared more land by cutting down trees and large plants. This gave them room to plant more crops and build more houses. Life in the colonies was very hard at first, but it got easier. The people learned how to plant different kinds of food. They built better homes. Some people opened shops. The shops sold clothes, tools, food, and other things people needed. In 1635, the first public school opened in America. As time passed, the population of America got much larger. Population is the number of people living in a certain place. More land had to be cleared to grow enough food to feed all the people. People needed more and more buildings, homes, stores, and places to meet. They built factories to make things they needed. They built roads leading to every town and city. All of these changes had, changes had consequences. Some animals lost their habitats and some became extinct, gone forever. Cars and factories polluted the air. Homes and factories polluted the water. Soon, people began to worry about the earth. Many people decided to do something to save the natural resources in the world. They knew it was important to protect resources like air, water, and trees. What can we do to help save the earth's natural resources? Plant a tree or a garden. Trees and other plants give off oxygen that we need to breathe. Here are some other ideas. Don't let the water run while you are brushing your teeth. Take short showers instead of baths. If there is a leaky faucet at your, home, at your house, ask your parents to fix it. Volunteer to help clean up a beach or river bank near your home. Turn off things that use electricity, lights, TVs, and computers when you leave a room. Before you open the refrigerator door, decide what you want. Ask your parents to adjust the thermostat in your house to save energy. Have you ever heard people say reduce, reuse, and recycle? It's a way to get people to buy things that have less packaging and to find new uses for old things. It reminds us to recycle too. Animals that are endangered may someday be extinct. Our national symbol, the bald eagle, was once endangered, but there is good news. Today, there are several thousand bald eagles in America. It was taken off the endangered species list in 2007. Now let's look at some of the fun activities that you did with that. So the first thing you came to was a crossword puzzle. Those are pretty fun to do. You had some words to fill in that went across. So that would be horizontal. And then you had some words to fill in that went down vertically. And you have a word bank and you should use all the words in that word bank. So you should use all seven words. So let's start with number three across. We can see that's gonna be a really long word because it takes up all of those spaces right there. Okay, here's our clue. When people change their communities, there are blank. Mm, the story told us there are population, school, oxygen, colonies, America, recycle, consequences. I bet you chose consequences. It's a long word. It'll fill up all of those spaces and it makes sense. So we can mark that word off because we've already used it. So three across was consequences. Let's look at five across. A long time ago, there were 13 blank in America. The story told us that there were 13 
colonies in America. So colonies will be the word that you put for five across. Okay, seven, the number of people living in a certain place. The number of people living in a certain place, the story told us, is the population. Population is the word that you will fit in seven across. Okay, let's try the down ones. Number one, down. The title of this week's studies weekly is Changes in our country's name, America. What about number two down? Reduce, reuse, and I bet you found the word recycle. Four down. The first public mm opened in America in 1635. What did the story say? The first public school. So we're going to use the word school there. S-C-H-O-O-L. And finally, the last one, which should be the only word we have left. Trees and other plants give off mm that we need to breathe. Well, we know trees and plants give us oxygen. Okay, good job on that. Now we had to do some sequencing. Remember, sequencing is when you put things in order. So they gave us four sentences from the story and we had to number them in order. So after you read all four, hopefully you found out which one would come first. You should put a number one here. People who came to America cleared land to plant crops and build houses. That would be first. If we go back and look at the story, the second thing the story told us was shops began to sell clothes, tools, food, and other things people needed. So we would put a number two there. The third thing the story told us in the sequential order was people build roads and more buildings. So that would be three. And finally, number four, some animals became extinct and the air and water became polluted. So good job with sequencing. And then finally, we needed to write what the difference is between an animal being endangered and an animal being extinct. The story told us that if an animal is endangered, it may someday be extinct. So it's not gone forever yet, but it may someday be extinct if we don't do something to protect it. And then remember the story told us that extinct means gone forever. So there's no more of that species if it is extinct. And I bet you used capitals and periods and wrote me a really good sentence about that. Talk to you soon.